today I have a vlog for you. Um, we are in the middle of the Three Rivers Challenge, the pantry challenge, where we try to do a low spin January and February. I don't video all my meals and things like that. If you want to see what, what sort of meals we're making, follow us on Facebook, because that is where I post virtually every night on what we are eating. So you can do that. I will drop the link for all my social media down in the description below. I am on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. So feel free to drop in any of them but it is Facebook where I share the evening meals. So you may want to drop in there and have a look. So today I actually need to make some dog treats. I'm out, I have an empty jar and I don't like filling my dog with lots of nasties. So I try to keep it as natural as I can. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing as I bring out new content all the time, including making dog treats this time. So let's jump into this vlog. Okay, I do all of this in my food processor and there's not going to be an exact recipe but I will talk you through it. I'm just try to do measuring cups so you can get a, a rough idea. Okay, I'm going to try and see where you can see them where you can't see them. Okay, I'm gonna see. I'll probably put um, let's see how that looks. That's a cup of oats and what I'm going to do is just blend that quickly so it's a bit finer. So I will put some music just here, just while we use the blender. Okay, that's good. So it looks like that, so it's a little bit finer. So that is one cup. I'm going to leave my oats here, because I might have to some more. Now, I'll change my blade. And I'm going to use my grater blade because we're going to grate a couple of carrots. I've just washed off, took any nasty bits off, they need to be used. This is perfect for that. I'm actually going to break them in half. And isn't that classic? Then it gets through that hole there. <laughs> okay, let's not do that bit again. Okay, I'm going to great shred them in as well. Okay, so that's the shredded carrot. You're going to have to excuse my dog back in the background. I don't know what they're on today. <sighs> right, let's have a look. I'm going to start with a third of a cup of pureed pumpkin and this pumpkin I've done myself it was just pumpkins that we had over it was in October so I've pureed a load down stays in my freezer then of course because we're on a pantry challenge Time to start using those bits up. I've got to try and get my blade back in here. Hopefully I can do that. So starting with a third of a cup of that. Okay. Now to that. 
I'm going to put a cup of wholemeal flour. I may end up putting some more pumpkin in or not, it just purely depends. Okay, now we're gonna pop an egg into that as well. Okay, and then we're just gonna blend it up in here. That's that bit done. Now we're gonna get it and sort of knead it into a ball so we can roll it out. Roll it out. As you can see there's no sugar, no salt. Um, if you haven't got pumpkin, use banana. This is the first time I'm using pumpkin because I normally use bananas, but it's a country challenge, so I want to keep those bananas really for my kids and use up the pumpkin. It's all full of goodness for them. Okay. I've got a mat here. This can be a little sticky, but I'm also going to use clean film as well. Okay, let's get this out on the board and see what we're working with. And see if we need to add anything, or is it a consistency that we can work with? a little bit wet yeah so that's not anything to worry about seems it's a little wet we're just gonna add another half a cup of the wholemeal flour on it work that in we do that a little bit at a time Probably about one and a quarter cups of my flour. Do it to a consistency that feels right to you. It's supposed to be not over sticky, a bit like I've got here. You can see it's not over sticky or anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break a bit off because I find it easier to work in smaller batches. My dog loves the banana ones in this, so what I do is normally stick half a banana in. Right. Now, if you've not got a silicon mat, put the second sheet of cling film down. Okay, because it stops it sticking then. It's everywhere, easier clean up. That's top tip. Right. We're going to roll it out to the thickness that you feel is correct. I have a dog bone and two little hearts. Different sizes because sometimes my dogs only need a little treat. Other times they could have a bone shaped one. As you can see, this is peeling off absolutely fine. I'll get this a little thinner. That's pretty good. Right, I'm going to start cutting these bone shaped ones. There we are, and you can see the thickness. Probably, I don't know, two, four millimetres, five millimetres maybe. I'm going to put them onto a non stick mat. 
can I fill up the tray? As you can see, it is so easy. And you can put them close together because they don't actually spread. Okay, with these bits that I can't get a bone shape out of, I'm going to do some treats, heart shaped ones, stick them on another tray. They just look like that. Those are hearts. Now that's the little ones in comparison to the bigger heart. Okay, got a piece here. Try to fit a couple of little hearts. And there we are. Okay. A little bit more, fold it all back together, and we do the rolling. Like I said, this is so easy. Okay, that's the first tray done. I'm going to pop them in the oven while I continue. one I'm just gonna shape in my hands. I don't like wasting so it's a little treat. It's just not a uniform shape. And that's what we've got here. That's our second tray. That's gonna go in the oven. That's these halfway through. So we're just gonna flip them over. About every 10 minutes or thereabouts. There we are, and we'll go back in the oven for at least another 10 minutes. Okay, let's do the £1.50 challenge while the dog biscuits are cooking. This is our third week of the hashtag £1.50 pancake challenge. We have a tin of rice pudding, apricot hearts, pineapple slices, baby carrots, spaghetti rings and sausages, and a bag of spaghetti. So that's week one and two there. Now we're on for week three, and we've got a tin of red kidney beans, we have chopped tomatoes and some hot dogs in a tin. So that's week three. So we're starting to build this up now. As you can see. And in a few weeks time it's going to look a lot more than this. So that's the hashtag £1.50 pantry challenge. Okay, we have the first tray of dog biscuits out. That probably take us about 20 to 25 minutes. And yes, they're still hot. I'll put them on the cooling rack. Still waiting for the second tray. Okay, so I've got my chicken carcass in there with the bones and the skin. I'm now going to chop some carrots up. They really seriously need using. So I'm just cutting off the nasty bits. I've had a good scrub.
I've got biscuits and I'm just gonna pop out. Filmed on the 13th of January, and tomorrow is my birthday, the 14th of January. I'm trying to get everything done today so I don't have to worry too much tomorrow. There we are. There's that. Now oh, let's get some herbs and that in there. Okay, some black peppercorns. I'm just going to do some mixed herbs. Like that. Some of the herbs savoury. Thyme. Benji, is your treat? Is that good, Ben? He'll be back in one moment. And then I'll give him a bigger hug. Ben, what's I got? Here he is. Sit. Sit down. Can you give me a paw? A paw. Good boy! There we are. There we are, that looks perfect. Oh, let's get a little jar for these. Now these do not last me long. Because um, I have three dogs. Mm. Oops, the dog treat all done. Okay, well that's it for this vlog. We've made the dog treat. We've got the chicken bone broth in the slow cooker and that's going to do its thing over the next 24 hours and then I will can it sometime after that and then I will use that for soups and stews over the coming weeks. So as I said at the beginning of this video if you want to see the sort of meals that we eat through this January and February this um, Three Rivers challenge where we work through our pantry to make sure we are rotating through that so nothing gets wasted and it also makes you get creative so if you want to see the sort of things that we do come and join our facebook group it is in the description down below and so is my instagram my twitter my tumblr and even a blog is down in the description below so you can come and join us and have a bit of a laugh and joke on Facebook We're quite like hearted over there so until next time guys bye and take care